today we are at New Richmond Airport. On a really, really hot Monday. It's like 100 degrees out here. It's insane. It's very hot, but we're going to make a cool trip up to Duluth, Minnesota. I guess it's like 20 degrees cooler there, so yeah. that'll be nice. And it is like a 25 minute flight, so it'll be pretty fast. Quick flight. We're bringing some parts to our friends at Cirrus, in the Cirrus. Yeah, bringing parts to Cirrus for a Cirrus. It's kind of a cool setup, so. Yeah, so let's go. All right. Today is going to be a little bit sporty, CJ. Okay. So, till we get up to about 5,000 foot, I would expect we're going to have a little bit of bumpiness. Oh. Well, Cause that's it's good. so hot. Just because of the heat. It won't be too bad, but just don't worry. We're not going to die if there's a few bumps. All right. Well, I think I can handle some turbulence at this okay. point. All right. I'll just hold on off. tight. I already started the engine. Flaps are up as required. Taxiing. All right, I'm latched, you're latched. Caps pin is removed. Seatbelts and shoulder harnesses are secure. AC is as desired. Fuel quantity is confirmed. We're on the fullest tank. Fuel pump is going boost. Mixture as required. Full rich. Flaps are set 50. I'm 50. Yep. Transponder squawking 1200. Autopilot's checked. Nav radios are set for takeoff. Cabin heat defrost is as required. Brakes are hold. We'll do a quick run up, 1700. All right. Get there. Engine parameters are checked. Power is at 1000. Flight instruments checked and set. We filed seven, so we might as well just go seven. Taking off heading 140. And flight controls, I'm up, you're down. Yep. I'm down, you're up. Yeah. Back, yes. up, yes. rudder, rudder. All right, trim is set for takeoff. Autopilot's disconnected and no icing today. So gonna be a normal takeoff, brakes release, full forward, rotate smoothly, and we are good to go. All right. All right. You ready for this, CJ? I hope so. All right, here we go. New Richmond traffic, Sears Bravo Bravazulu taking runway 14. Gonna be a left turn out to the north. New Richmond. Seems like a quiet day. Yeah. So we're got a pretty stiff crosswind today. Okay. So that means we're gonna have to give her plenty of aileron and we're gonna ramp power pretty quick so we get up to speed fast. So, token bars are on. Everything else is ready to go. All right, takeoff power is set. Airspeed is alive. Got some bright aileron in. Keep our climb pretty shallow. Looking good, we're above 90. We're clear That's obstacles. Hungry. Flaps After are that. coming up. We'll go into autopilot, flight level change, heading mode. We'll go to 112, heading. And we'll start a nice turn to the left. Well, that was fun, about a 16 knot crosswind or so on takeoff. Didn't even feel it. No, it wasn't bad. You just have to give it some aileron into the wind, so right side. But you do have to be really careful. It's easy for it to try and blow you off the runway. New Richmond traffic, sir, sir, Bravo Zulu's crosswind off one four, exiting the area to the north, New Richmond. What's our altitude gonna be like today? 
Uh, we're climbing up to 7,000 feet today. Oh, okay. Which uh, should get us just above the bumpy air that's going to be down low because of all the heat and wind. Yeah. As soon as we get up to about, uh, I don't know, maybe 3,000, 3,200 feet, we should be able to pick up Minneapolis and then we can get our clearance from there. Minneapolis Center, good afternoon, sir. 600 Bravo Zulu, 3 Northeastern to Richmond, looking to pick up IFR to Duluth. So zero Bravo Zulu. Zero Bravo Zulu. Number six zero zero Bravo Zulu. Uh, Roger, standby for code. Squat four two four two. All right, four two four two for zero Bravo Zulu. Number six zero zero Bravo Zulu. Got your radar contact six miles north uh, east of New Richmond Airport. Stay up to base. Uh, leaving four thousand four hundred for zero Bravo Zulu. Number zero Bravo Zulu, altitude check. Thanks, you're cleared to the Duluth Airport via direct by maintaining seven thousand. All right, we're clear direct Duluth via direct and uh, climb maintain 7,000 for Zero Zulu. Number Zero Bravo Zulu, the siren on number 2988. 2988. Take this time to say thank you so much for getting the uh, air conditioning option. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I don't think I would have agreed to come if... Uh, yeah, no, you can't fly when it's this hot if you don't have air conditioning. That would just be unbearable. All right, we are up here at uh, 7,000 feet. The temperature, much nicer. It's quite a bit cooler up here, 64 degrees. Yeah. Big difference from about 100 on the ground. So. It was insane down on the ground. Um, so yeah, we got our, our uh, bud CJ with us today. CJ is one of our video guys. And we're just making a quick trip up to Duluth. So about 23 minutes of flight time remaining. We should be in there pretty fast. I'm gonna go ahead and load the frequencies for Duluth. Uh, we'll get ATIS going on to COM2 active. And we'll get the tower loaded to COM2 standby. We will remember that ground is on point nine. And then we might as well take a quick peek at the weather. It looks like we're gonna be landing runway, well, we'll hopefully ask for 2-1. Winds 230, 13 gusting 21. So it's also pretty windy up here. We had about a 16 knot crosswind taking off from New Richmond. And uh, it was a little bit sporty, a little bit bumpy because of the heat and the wind, but it wasn't too bad at all. No, oh, not bad. So cool, should be on the ground in about 20 minutes or so. And uh, we'll make it eh, about an hour before they close. Plenty of time. Yep. All right, we are about uh, 50 miles from Duluth, so we might as well pick up the ATIS. Duluth International Airport Information Sierra, one nine five five Duluth, wind 220 at one nine, gusts 30, visibility 10, few clouds at 3000, temperature 33, 2.22, uh, temperature 2985. We mark peak wind 230 at 30, observed one nine five five Duluth. Visual approach, runway 21 in use. Notice to air mission text, we alpha close between alpha 5 and 500 feet to the west of alpha 5. Arrivals contact alert approach on 125.45. Advise initial contact to Sierra. All right, we have Sierra. I'll lock the 714 mini. Go to the National Airport Information Sierra, 195. I'll lock the 714, will you be able to climb to 370 in maybe the next 10 minutes or so? Did it say 230 and 30? Yeah, 30 knots. Yeah, we're still too heavy for that. We'll probably have to go back down to 35 for you. What's the runway Okay, direction? I do have a traffic at 35 uh, over one. So turn uh, 15 left, Double 15 landing. left for traffic, and then once the you're clear of that, I'll have uh, something more direct for you and back down to 35. Uh, but uh, 15 left for now. Yeah, 35. Yeah, 15 to the left, appreciate yeah, so. that. So the winds are at 19 steady, gusting up to 30. So that means there's 11 knots of difference between that. So we're going to take half that, so six and a half knots and we're gonna carry six and a half knots of extra airspeed in today. So normally if we'd be at 85, we'll be at 91 and a half or 92. Um, and that'll just be to accommodate for those gusts because we don't want the gusts to come out and then settle down because we don't have enough airspeed. The good news is we should stop nice and quick. Uh, yeah, I'd say. You won't be needing the brakes. <laughs> My kind of day. 
Center Skip 20, correction, 4114, climbing uh, 10,700 for 17,000, direct homer. Scouts 4114, the Eagle Center, good afternoon. Corbin maintain for the level 340. All right, 340, Scouts 4114. I have another Stephen Beth fun fact about Duluth. Oh, what's that? We got engaged in Duluth about 20 years ago. We certainly did. Oh, I wow. can't believe the time has flown that fast, but I was just doing the math. And indeed. Japan Air 8 Heavy Connect Beeple Center, 119er, 0.87. Good day. That was probably the best decision oh, of my life. Nine, eight, uh, seven, Japan Air 8. Me too. Bye. That probably, Steve. It's been a pretty incredible <laughs> 24 years that I we've agree. been together. But. Uh, all right, let me just delete probably. That was the best <laughs> decision of my life. There we go. Thanks for pointing Second that out, to TJ. Fly Appreciate or, that. Yeah. Yeah, probably, maybe in the top five. Yeah. <laughs> Zulu Tower, Sierra 600, Bravo Zulu is on the visual for 2 1. Sierra 600, Bravo Zulu, Zulu Tower, wind 2 1, throw at 1 4, runway 2 1, clear to land. 2 1, runway 2 1, clear to land, Sierra Bravo Zulu. Well, that's better, the wind's changed. 2 1, zero, one 4. Yep. Alright, so we're going to start our descent down to 3200. I'm calling to loop ground so I can. Your radio came in really weak. So off to our right over there is Sky Harbor Airport, which I've always wanted to fly into. It runs right along the water there. I think it's like a 2,600 foot runway or something. So you have to be on your game. Also need the right wind, but super cool little place. Literally like you can walk 20 steps or something from the airport to the water. Wow. I can get a shot of that. Lots of cool industrial stuff and shipping in Duluth Harbor here. Field elevation? 1400. Okay, I was going to say, it must be up high. Oh, and there's Anger Tower right there. See it? You see it on the hill? No. Oh. To the left of the radio towers, left and a little bit down the hill. Runway is on the water. Like, if you miss it a little too far to one side, you go in the water. Yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cool. All right, we'll start slowing up below 110. We'll get the second notch flaps in here right before we come up on Jeff Wee. You want to keep going down? Uh, we have to hit Jeff. We at 3,200 on the RNAV, so I think it would be oh. better if we hit it at 3,200. All right, we are starting our turn towards Jeff. We and in about uh, 45 seconds, we will turn in. Zero Bravo Zulu, turn right, taxi way up and taxi apart, main line frequency. I have a right turn on Alpha and uh, remain this frequency, Zero Bravo Zulu. Got the box. Hey, 
we're here, we made it to Duluth, and we're gonna just drop off some parts for our favorite customer. And um, yeah, should be good. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, flight plans filed. Let's get back up in the air. We'll head back down to Eden Prairie and we are out of here before Beth spends too much money shopping. <laughs> CJ, it's like insane. It is hot. It's very hot. It's like unbearably hot. Like insanely unbearably hot. Especially on the pavement. Yeah. Ground, Sierra 600 Bravo Zulu is on the ground at Cirrus with Sierra looking to pick up IFR down to flying cloud. Sierra 600 Bravo Zulu to the ground, clear to flying cloud airport via direct. Climb and maintain 6,000, expect 8,000, one zero minutes after. Departure frequency 125.45, squawk 4535. All right, we're clear to flying cloud direct, 6,000 on departure, 8,000, one zero minutes after departure, 125 decimal 45 for the departure sweep frequency and 4535 for the squawk for Sierra Bravo Zulu. Sierra zero Bravo Zulu, read back correct. And Duluth Ground, Sierra 600 Bravo Zulu is on the ground at Cirrus with uh, Sierra and we're ready to taxi. Sierra 0 Bravo Zulu, runway 21, taxi via Alpha Charlie, cross runway 27. All right, 21 via Alpha Charlie, cross 27 for Zero Bravo Zulu. Duluth Tower, Sierra 600 Bravo Zulu, we got Tango holding short at 21 at Charlie, we're ready to go. Sierra 600 Bravo Zulu, Duluth Tower, proceed on course, runway 21, clear for takeoff. All right, proceed on course, runway 21, clear for takeoff, Sierra 0 Bravo Zulu. Wind 21015, gust 25. All right, so it's blowing right down the runway. Because there's the gust, we're just gonna stay just above or right in ground effect for just a minute as we are taking off. Have a little bit of extra safety factor and uh, we're good to go. Lined up on the center line here. And this will be about the fastest takeoff you'll ever see, CJ. All here right. we go. Power's coming up. Airspeed is alive, engine's looking good. Takeoff power is set. All right, coming up on rotate. We're ready to fly. All right. Duluth departure series 600 Bravo Zulu is on course 4,000 for 6,000. Series 600 Bravo Zulu, good afternoon. Duluth departure, radar contact, climb maintain 8,000. All right, climb maintain 8,000 for Zero Bravo Zulu. Okay, we got 200 feet to 8,000, and we are gonna be ready to start leveling off here. And we will start to lean power back a little bit. It is really nice and smooth up here at 8,000 feet. The air conditioning's working better, 62 degrees outside up here, just much more comfortable. Yep. November 600 Bravo Zulu, cross 45 miles north of Flying Cloud at maintain 5,000. All right, cross 45 miles north of Flying Cloud at maintain 5,000 for Sierra Bravo Zulu. 
Okay, so we got to cross 45 miles north of Flying Cloud at 5,000. So we're going to come here and we'll go en route. Is it my 5037 Sierra? Good. That's 37 CR, go ahead. 737 CR, are you still direct to field or are you uh, direct to six for the RNF? All right, so we're going to cross 45 miles out at 5,000 feet. Minneapolis approach, Sierra 600 Zulu, 7300 for 5,000. Sierra 600 Bravo Zulu, Minneapolis approach, thank you, plan a visual approach, runway 28 left, flying cloud. All right, we'll plan for the visual for Zero Bravo Zulu. It's too much wind for 28 left. 200 at 28. Roger. And Minneapolis approach, here's Bravo Zulu, got a quick request. Sure, sir, Bravo Zulu, go ahead. Can we put runway 18 on request for Zero Bravo Zulu? Sir, sure, Bravo Zulu, you can plan a visual approach runway 18. All right, plan the visual 18, sir, Bravo Zulu, thanks. All right, we are about 50 miles out from the field, and we are descending. We're going to hit 5,000 feet at 45 miles out from the field. We have requested runway 18, which is just about a straight-on wind. The wind down there is a 1-6 gusting, uh, what was it? 1-6 gusting, 28 knots, so pretty gusty. But 1-8, uh, we'll put it basically right on the nose for us, which will be nice. Should be on the ground in about uh, 20 minutes. Fighting a little bit of a headwind this way. 28 knots. Slows you down a little bit. Big headwind, yeah. Many up. Reserve Bravo Zulu, flooding of 200 vectors over the top for the visual runway 1E. All right, heading 200 for Reserve Bravo Zulu. All right, we are about 30 miles from Flying Clouds. We can go ahead and load their frequencies and pick up ATIS. So we go to airport information. We will grab ATIS. We'll load ATIS to COM2 active, and we'll load the tower to COM2 standby. All right, and then well, let's go pick up ATIS. Flying Cloud Tower, Space and Golf 2053 Zulu, and 200 at 15, got 28, visibility 10, ceiling 11,000 broken, temperature 38, 2.20, altimeter 2984. Visual approaches in use, supporting our lanes 18 and 28 left. Notice Airman 5G notice and the back of the flying center for, 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 for more information, contact flight service. Airman's advisory attention due to numerous incorrect runway landing. All right, so we have information golf. Number 6, zero, zero, Bravo Zulu, the center maintains 3,000. All right, down to 3,000 for Zero Bravo Zulu. For zero Bravo Zulu, turn left heading 180. Left to 180 for Zero Bravo Zulu. All right, we're starting to head back, not in the wrong direction, so that's good. Well, that's kind of cool. It looks like we are flying over a very busy Lake Minnetonka. Um, it's a good day to be on the lake. Yeah, with the I mean, I guess it is a Monday, so one would question all those people not having work to do, but at the same time, it is a hot, hot day to be on the lake. It is really hot. <laughs> a beautiful day to be on the lake. That is a lot of boats. So. Yeah, uh, just this one little bay here. Sir, sure, sir, Bravo Zulu, proceed direct flying cloud. All right, direct flying cloud for Zero Bravo Zulu, thanks. Sir, sir, Bravo Zulu, the airport's over at your 10 o'clock now in one, two miles. Inside for Zero Bravo Zulu. Zero Bravo Zulu, you're cleared for the visual approach, runway 18 at it, flying cloud. All right, cleared for the visual 18 at flying cloud for Zero Bravo Zulu. Sir, sir, Bravo Zulu, chronic flying cloud tower, 119er.15. Over to tower for Zero Bravo Zulu, have a good day. Flying Cloud Tower, good afternoon. Sierra 600 Bravo Zulu, visual for 1-8. Sierra 600 Bravo Zulu, Flying Cloud Tower, uh, 3 Northwest. All right, we'll report 3 Northwest for Sierra Bravo Zulu. For Sierra Bravo Zulu, slow it up if, if you can. All right, we'll slow it up for Sierra Bravo Zulu. For Sierra Bravo Zulu, you are number 5 for the airport and number 3 for that runway. All right, no problem. We'll pull it back for Sierra Bravo Zulu. All right, we'll get the first notch flaps in. I suspect because it's a windy day, but it's right on the edge of probably safe for 2-8 left and 2-8 right. Um, if you were really doing some aggressive crosswind training, there's probably a lot of like training activity looking for that. 
Niner Alpha Tango, is this a stimulated one engine approach? Negative six Alpha, uh, Niner Alpha Tango. Niner Alpha Tango, if you could pick up the speed, that'd be helpful. I have uh, three aircraft in mode in the field behind you. We're picking it up, Niner Alpha Tango. Four six Papa, turn towards the airport, runway one eight, clear to land, full step taxi back only. Turn towards the field, uh, one eight, clear to land. Alright, we'll get it below one. Four eight, two parking. And there's a debris. Dispatch flaps in. Looks at 408 right turn golf, hold short runway 10 left at golf and contact ground. Alright, holding short of 10 left at golf and go on the ground, which at 408. For 14 Charlie. Alright. For 14 Charlie, you're number two following a Cessna on a four mile final approaching after right wing. Alright, number two following a Cessna, looking for that traffic. For Zero Bravo Zulu, make a right 360. Alright, right 360 for Zero Bravo Zulu. 1-4, Charlie has that traffic. Well, just wanted to capture these islands okay. on video here. As you're at Bravo Zulu, your traffic to follow is two miles east of your position, and Archer just uh, turning final, about a four mile final at 2000. All right, we got him inside for Zero Bravo Zulu. Zero Bravo Zulu, once you complete the circle, you can uh, follow that Archer. That is, uh, that'll make you number three for runway 1-8. All right, once you complete the circle, we'll follow the Archer for Zero Bravo Zulu. As you're at Bravo Zulu, turn towards the field. You're getting a little close to Minneapolis finals. All right, turn towards the field for Zero Bravo Zulu. All right, we are turned right into the field now. Airspeed's looking good. So we just need to be really accurate on our approach here. We've only got uh, 2,600 feet of runway. So keep our speeds good. 10 there, 25 kilo, your traffic follows the Cirrus. Five miles north, northwest of the field at 2,500 modified final. All right, I'll be looking for the traffic, 25 kilo. Zero Bravo Zulu, your number two, following an Archer, mile and a half final. All right, inside for Zero Bravo Zulu. Zero Bravo Zulu, runway 1-8, clear to land. Runway 1-8, clear to land, Zero Bravo Zulu. Seven two five kilo, your traffic falls now a Cirrus on a two and a half mile final. Looking for the Cirrus, dipping air, two five kilo. Um, just south of uh, due east of your position, about two miles. I believe I got Cirrus in sight. 25 kilo. 25 kilo, number two follow, runway 18, cleared to land, wind 100 zero at 14 gust 23. I hope he more than believes that he has us in sight. Should we wave to him? All right. 500. Very short runway here. Two whites, two reds, so we're perfect on glide slope. It's gonna get a little bit bumpy here for a second. All right. Zero Bravo Zulu, say parking. Uh, going to Premier for Zero Bravo Zulu. Zero Bravo Zulu, right when able, contact ground. All right, right when able, go over to ground, Zero Bravo Zulu, thanks. That was not my favorite landing ever. So much wind and there wasn't much runway left at the end of it, so didn't have a lot of room to add power and uh, slow it up a little bit. No big deal though. That sounds safe and sound. Yeah, still a fairly soft landing. That is what matters most. Could have been much worse. So we'll drop the plane at Premier. They'll do a little TLC. Get the air conditioning 100%. Get my AC working better, hopefully, and then pick her back up in a few days. Yep. Well, thanks for coming along with us. If you like the content we're making, don't hit, forget to subscribe. Yeah, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, we appreciate it. 
And we'll see you next time. All right, for us and CJ, see ya. We're out. <laughs>